Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is the ninth lecture on matrix algebra. In this video lecture, we'll be discussing few more questions on eigenvalues. But before starting this lecture, I would like to tell you three main forms by which we can form the block of a matrix. So basically, when I say block of a matrix, it means I am dividing my bigger matrix into some blocks. So let us see this. So forms. So that is. So the first form which I have said here is that is if A is any M cross M matrix here we have any zero again here we have any zero here we have any B matrix which is again a square matrix K cross K. So if you have any big matrix you can form the blocks of that matrix like this fine. So this is one of the case now moving on to the another case. The second one is if you have a, any A which is any again square matrix and cross N right and uh, here we have any zero matrix here you have any scalars and again here you have any square matrix so again you can divide this matrix into blocks and you can find out the eigenvalues and the last case is when a is any m cross m matrix and here you have zero here you have c and here you have any b which is a k cross k square matrix so again you can form a block of this matrix so in order to find out the eigenvalues of any big matrix what you can do is you can divide your matrix into blocks like i have shown in the three cases either this case or this case or the third case if any of these three cases are given in the question then you can observe the question and just divide the matrix into blocks and find out the eigenvalues of the respective block and the eigenvalues of the full matrix will be nothing but the eigenvalues of the respective block so let us see this through an example now this is the first example now see this is a 4 cross 4 matrix now now this case is similar to the second case what you can do is see here you have 0 here you have a here you have c here you have b so if this is a 0 and what you do is you just divide this like this so this will be 0 right and this is any c as i mentioned here and again a and b are any k cross k or square matrices so now you can observe this is your a and this is your b now clearly A is a lower triangular matrix. So the eigenvalues in this case will be the diagonal element. So these will be 2, 4 and 5. Whereas the eigenvalue for B is this is a 1 plus 1 matrix. So eigenvalue will be 1. So you have calculated the eigenvalues of this matrix very easily just by dividing this matrix into blocks. Now moving on to the second example. Again, this is a 6 cross 6 matrix. So in order to calculate the eigenvalues, what we'll be doing is we'll be dividing this mat matrix into blocks so now you can observe that the blocks in this case will be here you have 0 0 0 so you can divide this bigger matrix into this will be a which is a 4 cross 4 matrix and this will be b which is again a 2 cross 2 matrix this is 0 and this is any c so just we need to calculate the eigenvalues of a and b respectively so now for it for a you can see that this is a rank 1 matrix so the eigenvalues in this case will be the sum of or you can say the trace and rest all zero. So trace and others will be other three will be zero. And what is the trace in this case? You can just see take out the sum 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is 10. So this is 10 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0. So you have found out the four eigenvalues. Now you are left with two more eigenvalues which you can calculate from this. Right now for B. You can see that the row sum is 5. So, of course, 5 will be one of the eigenvalue. And for other eigenvalues, you know the formula that sum of eigenvalues is the trace of A. And trace in this case is 0. And one eigenvalue is 5. So, the other eigenvalue will be minus 5. So, in this case, the other eigenvalue will be minus 5. So, that is what you have calculated the eigenvalues of this 6 cross 6 system in a very less time. So, that is the speciality of dividing a bigger matrix into blocks and finding out the eigenvalues. So I hope you have understood both these questions. So you can try more and more questions and try to use these short tricks. So in, so in my upcoming video, we will be discussing the concept of arithmetic mean and geometric mean. If you have any doubts regarding eigenvalues, you can mention in the comment section. Thanks for watching the video.